Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, YouTube. Uh, coming on here tonight, um, make this video. It's it's a testimony of uh, of uh, me being delivered from smoking marijuana, weed, pot, cannabis, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is something that God has delivered me from uh, slowly, which it was. It's been. Uh, I would say two years now since I've been delivered from this drug. Um, I pray that in this video, that this video uh, can open the eyes of those who are caught up in this drug, in this, uh, this is a something to hold you back from uh, getting close to the Word of God and getting close to Jesus Christ. Um, one thing I would like to say is that there's, there's no sin that we can overcome by our own strength or might. Only by the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the power of the blood that He shed at the cross. That is the only way that we can overcome any sin or any, uh, you know, some, any demon um, is by the, by the blood of Jesus. Because there is power in the blood and there is power in the name of Jesus. Um, you know, my prayer is if somebody that is watching this and you smoke weed or even cigarettes this is uh, considered a sin in the eyes of God and I will get to the scriptures in a minute but because the Bible well I should say the Holy Scriptures tells us that it is a sin because the Spirit of God lives inside of us those who have been baptized in the Holy Spirit and if we are still sinning we are destroying uh, the temple which our bodies are the temple and the Spirit of God lives inside of us uh, of course I was blind you know I was blinded I didn't know anything about this until the Lord literally showed me his light and we we all can be delivered from whatever we're dealing with but there are a lot of people that are saying that marijuana is a is just a plant it's just uh, you know it's okay to smoke uh, even uh, people say cigarettes it's okay to smoke uh, and this is a lie from Satan and uh, I have been delivered from uh, smoking marijuana and I am very thankful I used to smoke it and this is not to glorify what I did but I want to use this video as an example uh, to show others that it is a drug and, it, and it's Satan use it, uses it to his advantage to keep you away from the Lord Jesus Christ and being saved from eternal hellfire um, I just pray that this, this helps somebody if they don't understand I pray if you are one of those people that smoke cigarettes or smoke weed uh, or any type of drug that you are destroying the temple of God and I pray that uh, you know you repent and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Jesus is coming very soon. So we're going to go to the scripture. Uh, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians first, uh, chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. And it reads, Don't you know that, that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives inside of you, lives in you, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is sacred, 
and you are that temple. Okay, so right here, Jesus is saying that, like I've said, you know, earlier that our bodies are the temple. It's not a, it's not a building that you go to. It's our bodies. Okay, you know, the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. We are the, uh, the temple. Okay, and if anybody destroys it, okay, they will be destroyed. So smoking, cigarettes, smoking weed, you're destroying it. And God will destroy you if you don't seek the Lord and ask to be delivered from it by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the only way you can be delivered from, from it. So we're going to go to Romans chapter 6, verses 16 through, through 23. And it reads, Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone to obey him as slaves, you are slaves to the one whom you obey, whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you wholeheartedly obey the form of teaching to which you were entrusted. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I put this in human terms because you are weak in your natural selves. Just as you used to offer the parts of your body in slavery to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness, so now offer them in slavery to righteousness leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves to God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness. And the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay. Like I said, we don't have power to overcome the sin in our lives, whatever it may be. And right here, Jesus is saying, when you get baptized with the Holy Spirit, you be set free from that sin. But you have a choice to make, to go the way to follow Jesus. If you keep living in that sin, you will die. Okay, being going meaning going to the lake of fire. Okay, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Okay. So I was set free from smoking marijuana, from from drinking alcohol, uh, other things that, you know, in the past I can't really. This, this, it, the list is too long for me to mention. Um, but whatever sin you're struggling with, if you're really sincere about it, and God knows your heart, He knows what you're thinking. He will deliver you from it. But you are to uh, stay holy and keep walking in holiness as we wait for the Lord. Okay. So we're going to go to Ephesians chapter two verse 19 through 22 consequently you are no longer foreigners and aliens but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as a chief cornerstone cornerstone in him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Okay. So what we do now is we live by the Holy Spirit. Now that we have been set free from the sins, if you have not been set free from the, the, the addictions that you have uh, you know I pray that you go you know in a quiet room and just fall down to
to your knees and cry out to the Lord for deliverance. Okay, no sin will enter the kingdom of God. Okay, just you have to always keep that in mind. Okay, if we sin, we com we confess it. And we ask the Lord to deliver us and to help us and have mercy on us and be sincere about it because God knows if you are sincere about it he knows your heart and he knows what you're thinking at all times okay but you know God uses these things you know uh, you know he, he, he lets Satan you know do do so much you know to us but it's also is a test you know as Job got has gotten tested has got tested in the Old uh, Testament he was being tested uh, we also are being tested okay we are being tested daily um, to live holy lives uh, you know to love each other to encourage each other uh, to carry each other's burdens, to pray for each other, God is is he's videotaping everything that we are doing, and how we are doing it. Okay, uh, you know, I fear God very much, and I like I said, I felt a heaviness in my heart to make this video testimony. Uh, you know about being delivered from marijuana. Okay, uh, I have been set free from that sin by the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ can set you free from smoking marijuana smoking weed pot all that does is um, keeps your mind occupied on things of this world and it just destroys your your brain okay uh, you're destroying your temple okay uh, your brain your whole body that, that includes your brain that is you're destroying the temple of God and you will be destroyed not only because of your lungs because but but because also your the smoke that is going inside your brain um, like I said you know I don't glorify what I've done I'm, I'm ashamed of it uh, but I know that if I can be delivered from smoking weed, then uh, if you are a smoker of weed or cigarettes, you can be delivered from it. Don't let Satan drag you to hell because he hates you and he wants to take you to hell with him um, because he's already going there. He, know, he knows his time is short. Okay, Satan knows his time is short. So I pray that you take this message seriously if you are one of those people that, that have a problem with uh, smoking cigarettes or even weed. There's other people that have uh, testimonies about smoking cigarettes also that they have been deliver delivered from. Um, me, I was more of a, a pot smoker. Uh, like I said, I don't you know, glorify it. I'm ashamed of it. I praise God that he delivered me from it it is a drug and it and, and Satan will use it to keep you uh, from growing in the Lord Jesus Christ okay so I pray that this blesses somebody I pray that you know that you take this message seriously this message is for you and uh, don't ignore this warning Okay, the wages of sin is death, which is the, the, the uh, second death, which is the lake of fire. Okay, you must be delivered from all sin. Okay, all sin. Uh, you have to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to deliver you from it by the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, through the power in His blood. Okay, the blood He shed at the cross. Okay, there's power in the blood of Jesus. So I thank you for watching. Uh, also, brothers and sisters in Christ, you're all in my prayers. Um, keep serving the Lord. Keep standing firm. Uh, no turning back. Uh, keep shining the light of Christ and, and showing the love of Christ. God bless and amen.